Have you ever found yourself reading a text in English and getting completely lost when numbers appeared in the middle of the text? Don't worry, because with today's video, you'll learn everything you need to know about numbers in English. Nice to meet you. My name is Paloma, and I'll be your teacher in today's class. Talking a bit more about the classification of numbers, we have ordinal numbers, which are used to put numbers in order of ranking, and cardinal numbers, which are numbers as we know them. Now that you know the topic of the lesson, hit play on your bilingual mode because we're going to dive into Berlitz method and speak only in English. Okay, let's go. The first thing we need to know is how to count from 0 to 10. This will be our guide for the rest of our learning. I will say each of the numbers and I want you to repeat them after. Okay? 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 Very good. You probably already knew these numbers. But if not, pause the screen and repeat them several times until you can pronounce them all correctly. Next, we have the following numbers. 11 12 once these numbers are done, we enter the sequence of teens. Teens in English means teenager, and that's why this suffix is used to mark these numbers. Basically, we just follow the structure of the regular number and add teen at the end. Let's take a look at how it goes. 13 14 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You may have noticed that the last number doesn't follow the teen rule. That's because it is a full number. Every 10 numbers we count starting from 20 will have a ty at the end. 30. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And if you want to say a decimal number, just add right after. 21, 65, 99. Does it make sense? Well, what comes after 99? A hundred. Repeat after me. A hundred. Super, right? And if you want to say other numbers in hundreds, just put them in front of the word hundred. Two hundred. Five hundred. Nine hundred. Here, the logic of decimal numbers is the same. How would you say this number, for example? 132. And this number? 456. After the hundreds, we have 1000, which is pronounced as 1000. I think you already understand how this will work, right? 2000, 3000, 4000, and so on. Let's test the other rules we learned. How would you say this number? 1,345. 7,643. 8,061. Now, a really challenging one. 900. 
99,999. And after that last one, we reach the millions. Repeat after me, million. After that, billion. And finally, trillion. Well, I think you've got a good understanding of all the numbers in English. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We have a series of playlists for you to follow and learn English in a simple and fast way. Best regards and see you soon. Bye.